Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here with the uh, donation contribution. As you can see, it is that have been processed. This is the uh, processed confirmation page from the One Fund organization. And I'll shoot over to my PayPal really quick, and uh, you guys can see that. I was able to send uh, $83 on our behalf. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, everyone that was involved. And uh, I have some words from myself uh, in the next second half of this video. So, stay tuned for that. Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here. Uh, so you guys just saw that I donated the money to the uh, One Fund organization. Um, wow, what an incredible amount that we donated. Uh, it was a very cool experience, very fun experience for me, um, aside from obviously breaking such a high-end product. Um, maybe not that high end, but breaking such a fun product and uh, you know helping people out with their collections, maybe getting some hits, getting some autographed cards, and also sending a, a substantial amount of money to a very uh, worthy organization, the One Fund organization. So um, I just want to start off really quickly with um, some big shout outs to, of course, all the people that were in the break that contributed with their spot. Um, if you guys didn't know already, the, when people purchase a spot, they also included an additional 50 cents, which I eventually matched. Uh, it came out to $30 total. And I had some extra generous donations from a few people in the break as well. Um, starting off with uh, this film, Not Yet Rated. Uh, this is the first time I've ever dealt with him. Um, I've never dealt with him in the past. And uh, probably one of the first times I've ever actually communicated. And uh, he signed up for one of my spots. And right away, he sent an additional $10, additional $10 donation. So thank you very much for that, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better through YouTube and through this, uh, through this hobby. And uh, the next person I'd like to thank is uh, Andrew, Wormburner509. He, uh, he submitted, he actually donated an additional $15 to the charity, which really kind of racked things up. So, you know, I love you, brother. My brother from another mother right there. Um, Congratulations on graduating, by the way. And uh, the last person that I want to really personally uh, thank for this whole uh, th this whole donation is uh, James Five on Five Two. He he donated an additional twenty dollars on top of his uh, his spot that he purchased. So so huge donations from uh, out of just one break, one one group break, and all together, all the funds together, with some smaller donations from other people that. Uh, uh, that didn't want me to refund their shipping money, just donate it to the, uh, to the charity. Uh, all those together, when you add it all up, uh, it was $83, which uh, was very impressive. Originally, I had planned on donating only $30. That was kind of what I was shooting for, and we've almost tripled that. So, a huge thank you to all you guys that were in the break, and uh, even the people that weren't in the break, they just kind of uh, left positive comments. Um, and, and left, you know, left positive comments, and liked the videos, and um, just kind of supported me along the way, and supported other people in this break along the way. So I really appreciate it, guys. Um, all the all the links are gonna be down below for everybody's uh, YouTube channels if you guys want to check them out, give some subs to some great people, and um, that's that's what I want to start off. That's what I wanted to start this video off with, which just kind of shout out to all these great YouTubers. So definitely check them out if you guys have an opportunity. Um, and then next up, just the, the One Fund organization itself. Um, it's open to PayPal donations if you guys like to make a donation um, by yourself. Uh, I think it has to be at least a five, $5 donation, but from there they have custom amounts. So, um, you know, if you guys want to send a little something, um, I highly recommend it. Or if you just want to check out the website. The website's really interesting. The donation feed is uh, more or less real time. So if you log in, check out the home page, let it sit, go back in 10 minutes, refresh the page, and it's cool to see like a few thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars just boop, boop, climb up. So uh, when I first started this, uh, this idea, when I first thought about this idea for this charity group break, I think the, uh, the charity fund was sitting around 30 million dollars, and now that I've finished and donated it, it's around 35 to 36 million now. So uh, very impressive, um, just it's amazing what people can do, I guess, people coming together, helping out a fellow citizen, helping out a fellow human being in this, uh, in this time, so human beings rather. Um, you know, there's nothing much I can really say about the Boston bombing itself that hasn't really been said uh, already. 
it's, it's a very sad situation and there are people that are going to be suffering for this for their entire lives. This isn't something, it's, it's not a band-aid fix. Um, this isn't something you can just rebuild a home and, you, you know, it's, it's totally fine. It's, uh, you won't have, um, I don't know, what can I say? It's, it's, it's not something that will uh, just go away after a few years. Uh, people are going to be living with this for their entire lives. If it's family members they've lost, um, children that have been injured, scarred, maimed, or, uh, you know, um, lost a limb. And these are people that are going to have to deal with kind of rehabilitation and medication and prosthetics for the rest of their lives. And it's not cheap, I'd imagine. And so a little bit of donation here and there um, goes a long way. I guess in, the, in their efforts and trying to um, recuperate or try to regain a little bit of what they've lost in this terrible, terrible uh, incident. So um, if you guys do have an, do have a little bit of leeway, if you guys have the uh, you know extra five dollars sitting around in your PayPal account, then I highly recommend that you guys send a little off to uh, the One Fund organization. And um, what else? So that's about the organization. Um, like I said, there's nothing really much else I can say about the bombing itself that hasn't been said already. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a big world that we live in. I know that's it's very obvious to say, but uh, it's a big world that we live in. There are a lot of people that don't agree with everyone else's beliefs, religious beliefs, um, political beliefs, what have you, way of life, I guess. And there's always going to be friction. There's always, always going to be conflict. And I, I think it's... I think it's, it's uh, wildly naive to think that we live in a perfect society or there's no problems in the world, everything's fine. But it's on the flip side, it's also, I think, is equally naive to think that the world is just one big, terrible place. I don't want to use foul language, but it's just a very terrible place. And I think, uh, you know, we have this perfect idea, this kind of utopia, I guess, versus on the other end of the spectrum, you have this kind of... Um, Dystopia, I guess, like use opposite word, but um, and where where do we lie? I guess in in, in the world today, and uh, are we in the middle? Are we more towards the utopia? Are we starting to crawl back down towards this dystopia or this kind of this uh, this terrible world? Um, I don't I don't think so. I think we're more towards the utopia. I think the world is a nice place. Uh, I think there are good people in the world and people willing to help each other out as evidenced by this group break and some of the great responses that I've received and some of the donations, extra generous donations that I've received. So, um, I think, I don't think it's ever going to be possible to, to prevent these, type of, these types of incidents, um, no matter how hard an individual really tries. Is it, uh, how possible is it, I guess, to make the world a better place? And you don't necessarily have to be Bill Gates and donate tons and tons of money to scholarship foundations or schools or anything like that. I think, um, I think just a regular person can just uh, lead by example, be a good member of society, be a contributing member of society. You don't have to be donating money all the time. You don't have to be volunteering for organizations. Um, we're all busy. We all have things to do. But... Um, I think a lot of, uh, it's just small acts, small random acts of kindness really adds up and makes the world a better place. You know, um, like, for example, the next time you guys are at the supermarket, you guys are in the parking lot and you see an old woman trying to load groceries into her car and, uh, you know, it's, maybe it's a little difficult for him or her, help them out. You know, it's a small act of random kindness, I guess. Or if you're in an elevator and the doors open up on a floor and somebody trying to get in is maybe a, a woman with a stroller with a baby or um, a disabled person in a wheelchair, maybe step off the elevator, take the stairs. It's good exercise and it's a random act of kindness. So I'm sure there are a lot, I mean, there's so many different things that they can do as a human being to, to help out one another. It doesn't necessarily have to be a monetary donation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a volunteer effort either. It can be just random acts of kindness to make uh, everyone realize that the world isn't a dystopia, isn't a horrible place to be in. And, um, I mean, like I said, like I've already mentioned, as evidenced by the One Fund organization, as evidenced by the people in this group break, and as evidenced by a lot of the, uh, the support that these victims have received, the world isn't that bad of a place. It's a pretty nice place. There are some bad apples in the bunch, and... Um, I know that seemed. I know it seemed like they made really, a really uh, made the situation seem really light. But 
Um, there are just bad people in this world, and I think the great people, the good people, far, far outnumber them. So, with that, guys, um, I do want to say thank you for once again to everybody that, that was involved in this break, uh, everybody supporting me. And I'm looking forward to doing some more charity breaks in the future. Um, one of the products in mind is a 2013 museum collection. And I've mentioned this before, I don't know how many of you guys remember, but uh, there is a Japanese version, Asian edition of, uh, Asian edition rather, of a 2013, rule, uh, 2013 museum collection. And there are Asia exclusive hits, J Japan parallels. Etc. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a box break of that, donating proceeds to a charity. Um, I'm not sure which one yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But that's that's a product that hasn't been released yet. Maybe at the beginning of next month. I'm not quite sure on that. But uh, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching as always. If you guys have something to say, be sure to leave a comment down below. Like the video. I'm sure there's going to be some troll. Um, I have a couple of them been following me around recently that will dislike the video. Whatever, I mean, it's just, I'll leave the likes and dislikes open if you like to leave a comment or if you like to like the video, then it sounds redundant, like to like the video, but if you like to like the video, then uh, be sure to do that, and uh, be sure to check out all the wonderful people that did get in this break, and the One Fun organization itself. So, uh, stay safe out there, my friends. It's a, it's a crazy world that we live in, but we make it better just being humans, being humane. So, I want to close off with something really cool. Um, it's gonna be a big hit in the States. <clears throat> Here we go. My name is Taka Tanaka Giant. I'm from Japan. I'm Japanese. Take care, guys. I hope you guys are having a good week. Catch you next time. Bye bye.